Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you on um, making water. And this is a little video. I had a video response to. It's a little wave. I'm going to be showing you how to create that today. I'm going to be having a wave on a, a certain tutorial. I was going to tell you the main colors um what makes what makes this water that i just shown you r so realistic looking all right so i'm just going to uh you said that yeah i'll just save it yeah all right let's wait that for load all right so now we have our plane on dock so i'm just going to drag out a plane uh it doesn't really matter how what it looks like and now I'm going to click M, and we're just going to make uh, we're going to make this water from scratch. I mean, by meaning uh, clicking M in the material editor, and then uh, type typing in what I'm about to type in just now. All right, we're going to instead of making this a blend, we're going to make this an amphistratic, and we're going to unselect this uh, diffuse sort of thing. So this way we can select different colors. And I'm going to make this a dark black. right there make this uh not as dark as the other one maybe a little bit more blue right there and for specular i'll just make this a light um i forgot what it was called ah whatever i'll so yeah somewhere in between that looking like this color right here all right so now we're going to click um in the self animation sorry i my grammar sucks, so it's gonna collect that color. It's not gonna do us any good right now. All right, so on the specular level, we're gonna put uh, 40 glossiness. It's going to be zero. Uh, leave astro phi at 50 if you have that defaulted right there. And then we're gonna make uh, our erection 53. And if if you don't see these four choices and you don't see what I see. You're probably not on Apple Stratic. Alright, so now if you if you look at our little box right here, here let me see if I can make that bigger. No. Oh wait. Well, that's what it looks like. Yeah. So now that's what it looks like for right for not right now. It's we're not done, totally done. So now I'm gonna go down to our maps. And by the way you can have any uh version in it if you if you can't do it and you have a specific version, please comment so I um, can remember that it doesn't work for that version. All right, we're going to select bump, and we're going to make that amount of 30. Click on uh, the map for it. under Right on the side of it, it says um, none, and we're going to make a, make it a noise. And I usually put the tiling around um, 4.5. It makes the water look like it has more uh, wave into it. Oh, trust me, it'll make it look better. So right now it looks like a golf ball. All right, now we're gonna go under noise parameters. We're done with uh, the coordination coordinates. I'm gonna go down the noise parameter, and we're gonna make this a fret critical, and then we're gonna go under levels, right under the tur turbulence. Uh, we're gonna go underneath that, and we're gonna crank that level to 10. You can see a little difference. All right, we're gonna go to size, size, and we make that 20. And we're pretty much done for, with that, so we're gonna go. We're gonna click on our right next to the noise. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna go to default. This puts us right back at the page we were just at. Now I'm gonna select reflection, and I'm gonna make the amount 100. And I'm gonna go under mask, and uh, unselect the map. I'm just gonna put mask fall off right here. Now this is the part I'm not sure if. You have to have a certain so comment, and we don't have to change any of the settings because these settings are pretty much already done for us. So now we're gonna go back to our default, and we should pretty much have our water pretty much complete, if you ask me. So now you just drag it onto your plane, uh, click render. All right, so now it looks not the best, and um, so yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. So you can see a little bit more. All right, so right now it's it's okay, but we're gonna make that a little bit better, better than okay. And the way I made uh, 
my water look you know really cool was I added some light light is the key to making realistic uh, scenes so I'm gonna go under target spot and what I usually do I just put one from each end so put one from coming this end maybe drag that up a little bit using my select and move tool so I'm gonna have this sort of gradient and now I'm gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna do the same other side put it where it was then move this up with my select and move tool move it back a little bit so I don't get any of these sh those sandals that you just saw and now uh, we'll select we'll make a camera view and I you sh I'm I believe I made a tutorial on that but I'm not sure I'm just going to select the, the camera onto there and this is the key to help you uh, find out what you're seeing with your camera I was using my top frame and I usually s or you, you can use any frame it doesn't matter I right, so you can select the camera, right click it and set to select it, set to select the camera view. I just minus that. All right now, so whatever we do right here, it affects the camera up here. So this is what our camera sees right now. All right, so maybe uh, move that back a little bit. Make sure you get the whole picture. Oh, and uh, if you wanna mess with you, th you think if uh, the mil the stock lens for your uh, thing is too big you can always adjust it in the stock lens in the premium viewers by clicking the modify with your camera or selecting I usually do uh, no it's too big no too small 35 millimeters probably the best for me right there alright so now if we select this click render and there's our water right there in the next tutorial I'll show you how to add that wave effect I added so yeah uh, thanks for watching the tutorial I'll have video response in the in the link below not the link below right below the video so you can just click on it instead of finding it alright make a wave tutorial next and I'll see you guys right on the next video